Good morning friends. Many people are asking how we can set up approval rules in Odoo. Normally Odoo does not provide any out of the configuration for approval. But you can see I have set up approval rule over here on validation. How I did that? It's simple. It's using the studio. So when I go to studio, we will have a properties over button where I have enabled approval rules like first level approval and then I have set this inventory user should approve this and then I have set second level approval where administrator inventory group can only approve this. Okay, So let's see how it works. So this is administrator account and if I go to my users, I have inventory users who is only inventory user, right? The access rules according to my user group. So I have logged in as inventory user and here it is there. So for inventory user, I just can't approve manager because I am inventory user and I said, okay, I am approving this. Okay, so I am validating this. Now it will ask the following approvals are missing manager approval. So when I go as a manager, this is the manager login. And if I go to my inventory picking, I can see here approval as internal user, All right? And then here you can see manager approval. So if I say yes, manager is also approved. Okay, and then if user will refresh this, he will be able to validate this. Okay, so manager approval we can set up like this. Now let me take one other, one more example for second order that is delivery order. So over here also you can see it is first level and manager approval which is automatically set as per our inventory plan uh, and approval management. So here if I can directly bypass this and then I can directly validate as a manager. So no approval is required for user. Okay, so that's how we can set multiple approvals over here. Now, let's say if I wanted to set uh, the same approval for sales order. Let's go to sales order and uh, let's go to any quotation. Right. So over quotation, I do have two level approvals. Sales administrator, two level. So let's see how it has been set up. So over here, you can see the sales administrator approval and another sales administrator approval. And then I can mark the responsible user who can approve it. Otherwise, it will not be able to approve by any other user. So he should be sales administrator and then another one is the manager so it is now set up like this so sales user one and sales user two can approve okay so let me log in as my sales user So let me check user access management for sales one user who is again sales administrator. I'm just changing the password so I can manage to log in as sales user. So my quotation will be here. That is SO22, and we want to approve that via sales one user. So quotation 22. I am going into that. Okay, and I want to approve this. So sales one has approved this. Okay, because sales one has marked as an approval authority, and then he can confirm as a sales administrator. So you can see two level approval was set 
but it was all sales administrator so how to manage this properly so let's say if i go back and wanted to set my approval again i will pick any quotation level go to studio where i can find this approval and i can say sales user should be required to approve okay i will simply set another approval rule for sales user and then responsible i will make sales person 1 and then i will set a limit approval for this so now user own document can approve this and let me now restrict the access for sales one user so sales one user he will become my own documents so first sales person will create his own quotation this is sales one profile okay so now he can see this approval or that you are already submitted limit to a single approval so he has done his approval part so let's say i am reverting but his approval is sales user approval he is approving that okay which is perfectly managed okay and then as a sales manager sales administrator i will open up the sales person approval where i would need to approve this and then when sales person comes in again he will see it is approved by all and then he can confirm the sales order to move forward so this is how we can restrict approval personals according to user group according to limitation using the studio hope uh, this will help many people to set their own approval procedure inside odoo thank you